they M Sport. They have a chassis mechanic over there, a lady chassis mm-hmm. mechanic, you know. And and like I'm actually really trying to work with M Sport, so I can just work with another female sure. mechanic. <laughs> sure. But um, I, I see more and more ladies in the industry, and like that makes me feel really good because I think it's it's not necessarily important to like be like you should do this. It's like we are here if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. The, oh, if if yeah. you're if you have the interest, you should be able to to follow it and follow that to whatever yeah. whatever end it might be. Yeah. Well, no. Hey, yeah. before we before we wrap it up, I do have one more question for you, Heather. I I yeah. and I don't know if there's a, a story here, but I wanted to ask because I noticed that on your Instagram account, the link that you have is to the Jesse Combs Foundation. Yeah. And I just wanted to see if there's, if, if you could, well, first just explain what that is. And just, if there is kind of like a story behind that, just say what that is. I would love to. Oh my God. Okay. So the Jesse Combs foundation, you guys know who Jesse Combs mm-hmm. is. Okay. But, but so maybe just those listening that don't yes. know. Jesse um, was a wild tech student that got picked up for like some TV shows. And she's basically just been this huge staple of women in the automotive industry. And she's been on overhaul and she's streamed four by four. And she yep. actually has the world land speed record for world's fastest woman. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, she died doing this. And it was actually, I think, three days before I got married. So that was cool. Wow. But Jesse was actually a big reason why I decided to go to mechanic school because I liked it, but I was fucking terrified. You know, I was one, there was like one girl for every like 2000 dudes. I didn't even know how to change my brakes when I went to school. Okay. And so she was a big push for me just being like, you know what? This girl can do it. She's doing cool shit. She's younger than me, I believe, or at least Mm -hmm. looks like it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking do it. So after Jesse passed away, um, they started a scholarship foundation, the Jesse Combs Foundation, to mm-hmm. help educate and send girls to trade schools or automotive-related, uh, more trades stuff focused yeah. than anything. Um, <clears throat> and I was part of the first class of scholarship winners for the Jesse Combs Foundation. That's awesome. So I won a scholarship and that's what paid for my first semester of school. And um, it's, it's kind of uh, crazy. Like I, I just, I always looked up to this woman, you know, I met her at SEMA and, and it's, it's, it's just, it's a good, it's a really nice place and, and group to be part of because Yes, you know, like there's women in the field. We're there, like, but but there is there is a weird. Um, I'm trying to find the right word. Environment, maybe, that we still do deal with sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, we are still ladies. We still like to wear high heels and makeup, and we still like to post bikini photos on social media because it makes us feel good. And um, sometimes I think that uh, because of this, it's just, you know, we're girls. That's what we like to do. You know, I, I think that it, it's seen as maybe not accepted in the workplace or in the industry. And so, I mean, I have recently actually talked to a lot of women who have experienced a lot of this kind of uh, attention seeking Hmm. Uh, accusations, I guess. And it's just, it's just really, um, it's kind of disheartening, you know, we were told to be taking our jobs more seriously. And I'm like, right. I'm just trying to hang out at the beach and say, look, and I'm at the beach, you know? So, <laughs> right. So it's, it's nice being part of a group that you can relate to, you know, I mean, and, and um, they have really, if they will put as much effort into you as you put into them. So you can literally receive a scholarship, say thank you for the money and then fuck off. Like hmm. that's fine because the foundation, we, they just want to be there and support ladies in the industry. Like that's, that's the main thing, you know, but we have like monthly phone calls and check-ins with each other just to see what kind of bullshit we're doing. You know, I, there's been times where some of the girls have had a terrible time at work quit their jobs. We found her another job, moved her somewhere else. Like it's, it's, it's a really cool um, 
foundation to be part of. Any of the ladies that have won, they will help get them to like Sturgis to be part of the group or SEMA and and so it's not just a scholarship opportunity. It's, it, it's, it's like just, a it's a community. It's a whole, it's a community, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's you, really cool. Yeah. And 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 you said you know women are reaching out to you. Is there have you seen a kind of I mean obviously you're part of this. Is there like a, a big uh, a growing interest in that direction. I think so. I think so. I, for me though, I just kind of feel bad because like, you know, of course, like car dudes, they want a fucking car girl, you know? And like, yeah. sometimes like they're just not into it, you know? And sometimes I feel like these girls kind of like get forced and like dragged to these car meets and then they end up resenting the cars and then they don't even want to be there. I'm like, so for me, you know, it's kind of like a, the nature of the beast, you know, us ladies, it's not necessarily an environment that we all want to fucking work in. And that's fine. Right. But I think it's, it has, um, I think it, there are more women that are, are not as intimidated, I think, to, to enter the field. And I think that's what's important. So would, um, would you say that it's I, becoming, oh, sorry, go ahead. When I started a tech school, I never had another female in my class. And by the time I ended, I think it was like the last six months of school, I would have at least one, two, and sometimes even three other ladies in my classes. So like, that was really cool to me. Um, I For still sure. have yet to, to work with another female mechanic though, but <laughs> it would be really cool. <laughs> there, yeah, it, it, it'll give it a little time and it, it's going to happen. And yeah. would you say that like, is it... I, I think that there's been a barrier for for women to be to to show an interest to a certain extent. Like they're like you're saying, like some people some people just would go to a crime meeting and not be interested. But I think there's other people that I've talked to through the years where like there was maybe a, a hesitation to really show how interested they, they legitimately were in cars or motorsport or something like that. It be from a, from a very serious standpoint. But I think that maybe that's that's lessening a little bit. I, 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 I think so. I really, I would like to think so. I mean, like they, M Sport, they have a chassis mechanic over there, a lady chassis mm-hmm. mechanic, you know, and, and like, I'm actually really trying to work with M Sport so I can just work with another female sure. mechanic. <laughs> sure. But um, I, I see more and more ladies in the industry. And like, that makes me feel really good because I think it's, it's not necessarily important to like, be like, you should do this. It's like, we are here if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. The, so, if, if you're, if you have the interest, you should be able to, to follow it and follow that to whatever, yeah. whatever end it might be. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Those role models are really important too. I mean, I, I say this obviously not with my own direct experience being a female in a, in an industry like that, but, <laughs> what? but, but my <laughs> wife, yeah, surprisingly, uh, uh, but my wife has worked in, you know, male dominated fields for most of her professional life, including like wildland firefighting, which is extremely, extremely type A masculine stuff like that. But she had a female role model to look up to and to, to look out for her and to say, look, you're going to get this shit from these guys. You got to just keep your head down, do it. Or, or where, here's, here's techniques that I've, that I've used to, to, to do that. Where are you located? Colorado. Ah, oh, shit. That's right. Okay. Yeah. We're all in Colorado. Because my here. aunt was um, the first fire captain or chief, chief or whatever of her the, her firehouse. I don't know what the technical uh-huh. terms are. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. but like, but but uh, yeah, she fucking drove the truck and everything. That's awesome. So, it's still, it's like, hmm. but it's I mean, like uh, like awareness for the issues, and it's I know I'm you know walk shaky ground as a dude trying to high horse this too much or something like that, right? But but. But, you know, this awareness for these issues are still such a thing, you know, both the, the female motorsports thing and also, you know, there's still you know, an undercurrent of racism in a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of motorsports and stuff like that. So, you know, awareness for stuff like that and role models and support networks and stuff like that, I think are really, really amazing. And, you know, I, I followed Jesse's career from the, you know, power block TV stuff and became a fan because she seemed to just be genuinely into it and, and not yeah. be afraid to just, you know, march to her drum and say, Oh, you don't like what I'm doing. All right. Well then don't be a part of it. I'm going to go do it. And I thought yeah, that, dude, was... that just gave me the goosebumps. That's so fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah, that's exactly that was, uh, what I mean, she did. <laughs> I, and yeah. I remember hearing that the horrible news and 
you know, I thought to myself what, what, you know, a loss that was for the, the motorsport industry at that point. And, yeah. Her death was the first and only celebrity death that I actually felt any sort of, I mean, I fucking cried. I mean, like I still, I think this is the first time I've actually talked about her where I haven't just like started crying. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it is important because uh, there was a point there where I was starting to get frustrated for being recognized for being like a female mechanic. Right. And um, I actually reached out to, you guys know who Bogey is? She's got the all girls garage on motor trail. Oh, anyways. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Um, you got Bogey and Faye. But anyways, I, I spoke with Bogey one day and I was expressing to her, like, I just want to be like recognized for being a mechanic instead of a female mechanic. And, and I'm being offered all of these opportunities because I'm a female mechanic, you know, but like, how do I navigate this situation? And she's like, you know what? Like, I understand what you're feeling because you want to be, you know, respected for your skills and not your vagina. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that there are, there are still a very lot of, uh, there's a lot of girls that are still denied these opportunities and not blatantly, but, but, you know, they might not get hired because they're like, well, you know, so, and so she told me, take every fucking opportunity that you can, because there's a lot of girls that are denied it. And so I think like, that's how I've actually really embraced being part of like the Jesse Combs foundation and like being someone I'd like to think that people can look up to, <laughs> but more of like a support person, you know, like there is still yeah. some shit and it sucks to deal with, but, but, uh, For having, sure. you, you know, you're right. I think having like a, some sort of a support um, system is, is well, very nice. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, maybe just to, to build on that is like t to take an <laughs> opportunity and then run with that opportunity. And it might not be something that's publicized. It might be not, might not be something that, you know, many people see, but somebody's going to see it. Some, some little girl somewhere is going to see some part of that. There's, there's a reasonable chance. And it's just like the more, the more opportunities there are for, for girls that are, they're growing up to see all mm -hmm. these possible op opportunities. It mm -hmm. just, it, you're, you're breaking down that mental barrier a little, little bit at a time, just, just even being present, doing what you do. So also, I breaking down stereotypes too. The better you yeah. are at it, the the more wrong that people get to be you know right there you go like you let your work prove them wrong you know that's that's yep. fantastic so yeah, yeah that's for sure but like um what like the we were in kenya for the rally and i made a friend and she was telling me um that the reason why people are so fascinated with me being in the service area as a mechanic is because apparently the women there um you know, they're expected to have babies and mind their husbands. And you know what I mean? Like there's actually a very high death rate of spousal um, deaths. Wow. And because women, if they are looked at as divorcing their husbands, they are no wanted. They're looked like as prostitutes and whores. And so they would rather almost be willing to like <laughs> risk their life than being labeled like that. So right. um, uh, do you guys know Ari Vatanen? Yes. He's like, yeah. So he actually fucking came up to me during this rally and like introduced himself to me, shook his hand. He's like, I'm Adi. I'm like, I fucking know who you are. Wow. <laughs> but he's like, my wife and I were watching you and we just want to say that we think it's so cool having a female here. I was just over at Toyota wondering where the ladies were. And then I come to Hyundai and boom, there you are. Like, cool. Thanks. Wow. You. So like, it's, it's, I, I, what was an eye opener for me is like, even though, yeah, here in my town, it's motorsport central, there's women that do it everywhere. But like with social media nowadays, you never really realize who you might be affecting mm -hmm. and being like an influence on. So like yeah. that meant that meant a lot to me to be well, there and, and, and do that. That's amazing. And, and, and just yeah. like with world rally going to so many countries, I mean, and, running races in com in countries where there's so many different cultures like that's something that's unusual you know and that's that's awesome you're again like just little just being there you're you're making your presence known and, and you're changing some of those perceptions that's very cool yeah, yeah that's pretty neat <laughs> awesome man yeah. well now we're coming up on two hours so i really oh my god i'm so you. sorry we need to get no. the hell out of here yes we, we <laughs> okay i, I mean like i don't but you guys might need to, you have, no. yeah. probably have shit to do huh? <laughs> i need to go check my car i need to go check yes. my horribly painted cage for cracks now gotta go 
That's gotta right. Go clean it. <laughs> yes, gotta go clean my my red cage. But it is, it is time very well spent. And thank you so much for 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 making the time and coming on chat with us. And and that is an awesome note to end on. And oh, yeah, uh, cool. So I just want to you know thank everybody for listening. Thanks for your support as always. And until next time, stay tuned to Flatirons Tuning and and follow Heather on Instagram and social media. Keep up with with what she's doing. Dussex and and Tasso, wherever whichever side they end up being on. <laughs> whatever. Yes. Well, thanks so much. And uh, thank you. Yeah, we'll talk to you again soon. See you later, guys. Thanks for tuning in. To hear the whole conversation, click below for the full episode of this podcast or tune in every week on iTunes or Spotify. If you like these episodes, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel because your support is what makes all of this possible. As always, this show is brought to you by Flatirons Tuning, your premier source for any Subaru OEM or aftermarket parts. Check out our website at flatironstuning.com. And as always, stay tuned with Flatirons Tuning.